We continue reading from the Gospel of John, chapter 15, verses 18 to 21. Jesus begins these verses by making a contrast between the world on the one hand and his disciples on the other. This word world, which is Greek cosmos, does not mean the outside world, but it means anyone who is opposed to the truth, anyone who focuses only on themselves, anyone who is engaged in corruption, indulges in dishonesty, indulges in the untruth. That is what the world means and this is what Jesus means when he speaks about the world. Because the disciples stand for the truth, because the disciples stand for honesty, because the disciples stand for detachment, the world, that is those opposed to the truth, those who want to accumulate, those who want to take everything only for themselves and live selfish lives, will oppose the disciples. And when that happens, the disciples must keep in mind that Jesus himself was opposed in that manner. And if the disciples are friends of the Lord, they must be willing to face that opposition. There are times in our lives when we stand up for the truth and are faced with tremendous opposition. At those times, we are tempted to give in and to give up. To say, what is the use of standing up for the truth? It does not help us at all and we are being persecuted and challenged. At those times, we need to keep our gaze fixed on the Lord who never gave up his stand for the truth no matter what the consequences. And we also know that the fact that he stood up for the truth meant that he was victorious in the end. It might seem in the first instance that the world, those opposed to the truth, are winning, that they have the upper hand. But we know that even at the time of Jesus, his adversary seemed to have the upper hand when he was crucified on the cross. But through his resurrection, he showed that the truth prevailed. Will you continue to stand up for the truth? for honesty and for detachment, no matter what the consequences might be in imitation of the risen Lord.